Ang mga pamaskong pagbati ay hatid sa iyo ng MoneyGram. Naghahatid ng inyong perang padala. Hi! Uh, yeah, binabati ko yung mga kababayan natin sa Pilipinas, si mga kapatid ko na nandun. Uh, hi! Uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, thank you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Enjoy and have a Happy New Year. Rest of this New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas to um, our relatives in San Jose City, Nueva Ecija, especially to Wawa Wawa, Nanay, and Tatay. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Wawa. Ang mga pamaskong pagbati ay hatid sa iyo ng MoneyGram. Naghahatid ng inyong perang padala. Marami po ang bumabati ng maligayang Pasko sa kanilang mga kamag-anak sa Pilipinas because we are an immigrant community. Marami po sa atin na mga Pilipino dito sa Amerika, hindi po dito pinanganak. 1.7 million Filipinos here in America were Philippine-born or not born here in the U.S. Kaya naman po mahigpit na pinag-uusapan natin palagi dito rin sa Kababayan LA ang immigration sa ating American Dream. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Low Law Firm. Answering your immigration questions. This is the last immigration dream or American dream segment on Cabo Bayan LA for the year. Attorney Allison Aquino, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure. And thank you for this whole year, you know, explaining immigration developments to us. Um, earlier, I spoke to Ronnie, and we talked a little bit about the Dream Act, about um, Librojo's case that's going to be uh, that's being debated on um, in the Senate. What do you think are the chances of the Dream Act, the National Dream Act, uh, to be approved? Um, well, in the political or in the election coming up, it's unlikely that there's going to be any actual change by Congress but that doesn't mean that we have that we can just sit back and stop advocating for the passage of the dream act the Librojo case was a very good example of why the dream act needs to be passed and there is certainly a chance that perhaps in the in the next um, uh, after the election that it is passed but in the meantime there are steps that that the immigration service can take that will benefit persons like Mr. Lebrojo, even though the Dream Act has not been formally passed by uh, U.S. Congress. And that's why I like talking to you and Attorney Richard uh, Lowe here on Cabo Bay in L.A. because you uh, you give different scenarios, you give different options to people that are wanting to get you know legal. Uh, documentation here in the U.S. And last time I spoke to him about different cases of uh, you know with people that where people come from when, uh, when applying for citizenship. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit about Mary's case right now, and uh, if we can have it on the slide. Mary's case, uh, it has something to do with fraud. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And this is a common situation, unfortunately, from the Philippines because of the long backlog with the visa categories. And so in Mary's situation, she obtained her green card erroneously because she claimed that she was single but was in fact already married and we have talked about this on several occasions and the new development in 2011 was essentially the immigration issuing a policy memorandum changing the way that they process citizenship applications for someone in her situation mm -hmm. so before the in Mary's situation she would be told probably don't do anything it's best that you just sit back otherwise you might cause problems for yourself okay with this new memorandum it actually gives a little bit of hope that the immigration may be much more willing to forgive those instances of fraud and that really has been the tone of the entire 2011 year with the immigration service just like with Mr. Lebrojo even though Congress has not formally made changes to the law the um, Department of Homeland Security is doing what they can within the current law in order to make it make life perhaps a little bit easier right. on immigrants. So that said, Allison, would you say that 2011 has been about being more lenient toward toward immigrants and uh, more forgiving, as you said? And what does a two uh, what does 2012 hold for us? Um, with respect to individuals who have not caused problems in the United States. Meaning no cases. No criminal cases. They've really come into the United States um, 
overstayed their visas or entered without inspection. And otherwise, other than the visa violation, they're good citizens and they're good individuals to the community. As far as those type of cases are concerned, yes, it has been a much better year. And immigration is recognizing that its resources are limited. They can't go after every single person who has violated the immigration laws. So in that regard, it has become a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more lenient on individuals who have simply violated a visa. And can we expect this trend to continue on to 2012? Um, we can expect it to continue on. And that is a very wise decision of the Immigration Service because in this economy and with these limited resources, immigration does need to focus its resources on um, deporting individuals with criminal violations. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have a problem with immigration pursuing individuals with who not, may not necessarily be a benefit to our U.S. community. Exactly. Um, with that said, even individuals with criminal convictions, they many individuals in that situation deserve the right to be here in the U.S. So even in that scenario, immigration is parsing out or they're dividing who they want to be strict on mm -hmm. and who they don't want to be strict with. Okay. Them. Let's make a roll call of uh, some of the cases that you may find yourselves in, especially the holiday season, first of all, and how it affects immigration status. Um, holidays, so DUI, you always talk about this. How is that going to affect us in terms of immigration? Um, uh, DUI is workable. I'll put okay. it that way. Okay. It depends on the extent of the damage and, you know, whether there were other violations. All right. Domestic violence. Domestic violence is definitely a very serious crime. It can prevent someone from obtaining their green card as well as being deported. All right. Jaywalking. Jaywalking, not an issue. Mm -hmm. Parking ticket. Not an issue. Okay, mm -hmm. and a lot of people going out of the country, maybe um, going on vacation, if you are a permanent uh, or a green card holder, they say that at the end of the five years, because you, you need to be staying here for five years, right? at the end of the five years, if you travel a lot, they add those up and then they add it onto the five years. Is that correct? Well, as far as eligibility for citizenship is concerned, you are eligible if you're here five years or in some situations three years if your green card was, or if you're married to a U.S. citizen, it's three years. Mm -hmm. So the way that it works, especially with travel, you do need to make sure that you don't travel too, too long. Too much, right. As much as we all like to enjoy mm -hmm. our vacations, um, you do need to make sure that you protect your green card. Immigration will take a look at how long an individual trip is, mm -hmm. as well as adding up all of your trips together. That needs to be at least 50% of the time in the United States to be eligible. All right, perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much for those of you with additional immigration questions. That's the number to call on the screen. Ang gusto ko po sa Aquino and Law Law Office. Pinapaliwanag po sa inyo at pinapaliwanag po sa atin kung ano ano yung mga hakbang na maari nating itake para sa ating uh, legal documentation here in the U.S. or being legal or being able to stay permanently here in the U.S. For now, thank you so much, Allison. Merry Christmas. Thank you. And Hope Happy have New a good Year. Christmas. Yes, and I'll see you in 2012. Looking forward to it. See you mm -hmm. next year. Thank you for uh, joining us for this segment. We'll be back for more on the show. Don't go away.